In this video, I'm going to show you this very interesting sound design technique in contact that creates this morphing or mutation-like effect, moving from one sound to another seamlessly. Alright, so let's see how we can create this cool morphing instrument. I'm going to start with loading in some factory library instruments. So let's go into contact factory library here. Let's start with band, maybe a simple acoustic piano. I'll go with this upright piano. I'll hit this wrench here to open up the instrument. And inside here, we can see under the group editor section, a bunch of different groups that constitute this instrument. I'm going to solo the selected group here. All right, so this is the one that is making sound. So let's work with this. I'm going to copy this group here by clicking edit and selecting copy selected groups. I'll close out of this instrument, close it out completely and create a new instrument. And in this new instrument, hit the wrench here again, go into the group editor and let's go ahead and select bass groups with samples. All right, so here's the upright piano and that's just the default group that this blank instrument came with. Let's open the mapping editor. I'll select group solo and selected group only. So we only see the notes of that selected group or samples, I should say. Uh, I'll check this edit all groups. So only the selected group is going to be edited. So group one is currently empty. It doesn't have anything. Let's go ahead and delete this. We don't need this. And here's our upright piano. We're missing some notes on the lowest and the highest end here. And I just want it to cover the entire keyboard range. So I'll select all samples here or zones as they call it and hit this button to stretch it out. So we've covered the entire keyboard range here. All right, great. So that's the upright piano. Let's add more instruments in here. Let's get out of the acoustic piano section. Let's go into guitar and let's load in an island guitar. I'll mute the original instrument or the custom one we're working on. Set this one to Omni for the MIDI channel. And let's have a listen here. Let's go inside. Group editor. So that's the main group that has all the sounds. Let's go ahead and copy the selected group. Close out of here. Go inside our instrument here and let's space it with samples. All right, looks good. Now I'm gonna get rid of all these effects. I don't need any effects in these individual groups. Again, in the upright piano also we had an effect here. So let's get rid of that. Make sure that only the selected group is going to be edited. And let's have a listen to the nylon guitar here. Make sure it's unmuted. All right, if I uncheck group solo. That's interesting. The nylon guitar on the highest velocity has this slide effect. Not sure if I want to keep that, but for now, let's just go with it. We can always get rid of the highest set of uh, samples here in the zone editor and then just push up the remaining. But let's, let's keep, keep this for now. All right, let's add in some more sounds. Let's get out a band. Let's go into a synth. Maybe mallet. How about this iron bell piano? All right, so again, let's solo this here. Set the MIDI channel to Omni. Go inside. Group editor. Group solo. Let's make sure to solo this instrument. All right, so that's that group. I'm gonna go with layer one. So uncheck edit all groups. Layer one is selected, edit. Copy selected groups, let's close out of here. Go into our instrument here and paste groups with samples. Get rid of the effects. And let's select all the zones here and stretch it out. And now we already have a pretty interesting sound with just these three layers. We'll add more. Let's get out a mallet, get out a synth. Let's go into world. Let's go into strings. Let's try the naiatiti. I like this very mellow sound here. Group editor, that's the main group. Edit, copy selected group, close out of here. Go back into our instrument, paste groups with samples. 
Make sure to stretch out the range here because it's quite limited. Pretty interesting. Just layering these different instruments is already creating a nice hybrid sound. And in, within each group, you can go in and maybe pan a group to the left, pan the other group to the right, transpose groups. We can even uh, reverse the playback for certain groups. So that can create some interesting sound design effects there. But I'm going to disable that, set the tuning back to zero, because we're going to create our morphing instrument. Let's add one more layer. Uh, let's get a strings. Let's go into metallophone. Let's go with kalimba. Go inside the kalimba, solo it, set the channel to omni. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I like this sound. Select the kalimba group, edit, copy selected groups, close out of here. Back in our instrument, let's space this with samples. We want to make sure we cover a wide range, so select all the zones and hit this button to stretch it out. Alright, so we have this nice hybrid instrument here, but we want to create that morphing effect. So for this, we have a few more steps to go forward with. For each group, we want to firstly make sure there are no effects, and I did do that, I believe. Yeah, no effects in the group level at least. Make sure edit all groups is unchecked, so only the selected one is what we're editing at any given moment. And now, let's assume that the upright piano is our main group, so we'll keep the volume up. And for the other groups, we're going to bring the volume all the way down to negative infinity, so we don't hear them at all. So now when I play, we're just hearing the piano. Alright. Now, going back into individual samples, this is an important step. We need to select all the zones, right-click, and select Create AT Morph Layer. You'll have to give it a name. This is the piano. I'll just type in piano. Tonal, root key, shift. I'll leave this as is, smoothing, leave that. Analysis range, we can increase it and hit OK. So now Contact has analyzed the samples to create the morph layer. Let's do that for the remaining. We haven't stretched this out, so let's stretch out the zone. Right click, create AT morph layer for this group. Let's call this GTR. Increase the analysis range, hit OK. Done. Do the same for this one. This was the bell sound, right? So let's just call this bell. Select all the samples, create AT morph layer, tap in bell here, increase the analysis range, hit OK. This one too, same deal. And then the last one, Kalimba. All right, so that's done. Now back to our main layer, the one that is still audible. You can see the level is still up. We now need to add the AET filter, specifically under the group insert effects. All right, so on this first slot here, I'll click and go into utilities. And here we have the AET filter. All right, so the filter has been loaded. Now, currently, we do not have a morph map, so we need to create a new morph map. I'll hit Edit Morph Map here. Give this map a name. Let's just call it Map 1. Select Add. Now, this is important. You want to make sure to select Articulation Morph, so it'll morph between different layers, not a single layer morph for velocity. So Articulation Morph is selected, and now let's add the instruments in the order that we want to create the morph. So let's say I want the piano first, and maybe then the... Niatiti, the guitar, the bell, and the kalimba. All right, hit OK. And now we have the morph. If I play notes, don't hear anything yet, because we haven't selected that morph. So let's select it here. Now when I play notes, you see this interesting graph here that's showing us how the morph is going to happen. And now we have a morph knob as well. All right, to really hear this in action, I'm going to edit this instrument a little further. So let's go into a script editor here under presets. Let's load in an arpeggiator here. So this is under sequencing. So this will be easier for me to demonstrate because I just have to hold down a bunch of notes. And 
now you can hear the notes are being arpeggiated. Change the rhythm here. Change the note order. Alright, pretty cool. Close out the script editor. Pretty interesting the tonality. Make this a bit louder. Maybe add some effects to pretty up the sound here. Insert effects. Let's load in a reverb, convolution reverb. I load in a preset here. Big room. Let's go with long warm 960. Turn down the wet a little bit. Maybe add a delay as well. Now I'd like this morph knob to just move on its own, so it's not just sitting there and I won't have to adjust it by hand here. So let's set up some modulation. There's a mod section here. Add modulator, let's add an LFO, a sine wave LFO. That's the modulation amount, 100%, and we can choose the parameter. Here we have morph. Click over here to go in all the way down to the modulation section. We're looking at the sine wave. We're gonna adjust the frequency, fade, phase, and all that good stuff. But I think that's good. Let's go back up. Um, I do want to change one thing back in the LFO. Let's turn off this retrigger. So the LFO will just continue flowing along, even though the notes are constantly retriggered because of the arpeggiator here. Okay, so let's hear this. Not bad. Let's create another morph, uh, specifically another morph map. So I'm going to select edit morph map here. Let's call this map two. articulation morph, hit add. And what do you need to add? We need to add the available morph layers here. Let's start with kalimba this time, then the bell, then the piano, then this one and this one. Hit OK. Only one more flare allowed for velocity map. Oh, look at that, I made a mistake here. So map two was set to velocity morph. I need to select articulation morph. All right, hit okay. And now it should be good. Let's choose map two. Try this again. Now at any given moment, you can always choose to go back in to a particular layer and up the volume just to hear it. So you're just hearing that layer dry without the morphing. Let's try the kalimba. It's kind of a cool effect. With the clean kalimba sound kind of droning a little bit. So there you have it. That's how you can create this really interesting but complex morphable instrument in contact using any of the factory library content. I hope you found this video helpful. Please stay tuned for more.